you want to follow along with today's lesson, you can click on the link in the video description and that will take you to the Excel Cave website where you can download this workbook. In this lesson, we're going to illustrate how the switch function can be combined with the VLOOKUP function to perform a lookup across three different lookup tables or arrays based on the switch lookup value. The switch function evaluates a lookup value against a list of potential matches and returns a result based on the first match it finds. So you have a possible match one, a result to be returned for that match one, a possible match two, a result to be returned for that match two, and so on and so on. So in this example, we have furniture store inventory items in three different inventory lookup categories and three corresponding price tables we want to look up against. We have price table headers for bedroom items, kitchen items, and living room items. And based on the value in column C, we want to perform a VLOOKUP to pull back the correct price from the appropriate price table for each of the items in our list. So we'll begin with the switch function. Our first argument is our expression or lookup value. Well, we want to look up whatever is in column C and match it against one of these three table header names. So our first possible match value is bedroom items table header. So we're going to hit F4 to lock that down. What do we want to do if there is a match there? We want to perform a VLOOKUP against that table. We want to look up the inventory ID number and pull back the matching price. So we'll hit F4 to lock that table down. We want to pull back the third column and we want an exact match. So our second possible switch match item is our kitchen items table header. We want to hit F4 to lock that down. And if there is a match to that table header, we want to perform a VLOOKUP to that table. Now we have only one table left, the living room items table header, if there's not a match in the first two table headers. So the nice thing about the switch function is it offers a default value if nothing else is found. So we can simply just insert a VLOOKUP to our last table if there's not a match in the first two. So you can see this pulls in the prices from all of our three different tables. You can see down here we have a living room item traditional sofa which pulls back $899 which is right here in our living room items table. We have a bedroom dresser that pulls back $799 which is right here in our bedroom items table. So that is how you can combine the switch function with the VLOOKUP function to perform a multi-table search. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.